hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video and it's been almost two days that ios 18 public beta 6 is out and i'm running it since then and it is a really decent update being very honest and it comes with a couple of changes i talk about those changes in the previous videos you can check out those videos now it's been the sixth public beta so it is it was a small update and now apple is trying to focus on the stability and the improvements and also enhancing the battery life believe me or not this update brings the best geek bench score ever which is seriously amazing i was i'm surprised to see this geek bench score also i'm very happy to see this score this means that apple is working on the stability and we are going to see much better iOS 18 when it is going to be released for the public. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the iOS 18 public beta 6, Geekbench score, performance, battery life. Also, when we can expect to see the iOS 18. So these are some of the topics that I'm going to cover in this video. So let's begin. Let's talk about the very first thing and that is Geekman score. So get into this application Geekman 6, CPU benchmark, CPU history over here. Now this is the score of iOS 18 public beta 6. As you can see, it is 2329 on a single core while 5648 on a multi-core. If I compare these scores with the average one, the average iPhone 14 score is 2242 while on iOS 18 public beta 6, it is 2329. On multi-core, average iPhone score is 5473, while on iOS 18 public beta 6, again on the iPhone 14, is 5648, which is much better. Now, if I compare these scores with every other score that I did uh, from the month of June, when the Apple releases the first beta of the iOS 18, these are the best score ever. These are the highest for single core and also highest for the multi core. Before this, the highest on a single core was 2324, but slightly better is the 2329. On a multi core before this, it was 56, um, 26 over here, but 5648 are a much better one. So these are the best score that I'm getting over here. If I go to the very first beta, I was 18 developer beta one. That was 2259 on a single core while 5425 on a multi core after a couple of days. And the, the beta 2 score was 2259 again, same as the uh, beta 1 and 5414 on a multi core. Now, if I compare these scores from this one, I can easily say the scores are now much better. And which means with every other version is coming out, Apple is trying to improve the imp uh, performance which is really good thing. So yes, performance is really good. Also, I want to tell you guys a very important thing that Geekbench scores just give us idea that what we can expect from the performance. Okay, they are the benchmark to measure the performance, but they can be sometimes high, sometimes low, but they just give us idea. So keep this mind, keep this in your mind. And yeah, moving, let's move forward and let's talk about the battery life of the iOS 18 public beta 6 from last almost two days. So if I go to the settings over here and go to the top to the battery stats and over here, unfortunately I cannot show you the battery draining because uh, I haven't um, charged it properly. I charge it in the morning. So I will talk about the battery draining uh, in upcoming videos that if it is happening or not but in this video let's talk about the ios 18 uh, public beta 6 battery life so it was released on the banners day as we all know so this was the first day when i was using this version as you can see i used my phone for around almost 80 percent 80 to 85 percent according to this graph as you can see and the screen on time is seven hours and 22 and uh, seven hours and two minutes if i go to the detail one hours 18 minutes on instagram then uh, whatsapp facebook youtube and it was also showing that i was on home and lock screen for almost two hours i don't know why i played a bit of a game like for seven minutes just to test out and this is how this is these are the all the applications that i use 
and screen on time is seven hours two minute that is honestly it's a decent one it's not bad it's a decent if i go to the next day where i used my phone for around um maybe 72 percent as you can see according to this graph or maybe 73 percent and the screen on time is six hours and 35 minutes again instagram whatsapp and again home and lock screen for two hours and 11 minute i'm quite active just on scrolling apps oh man i'm missing a lot of time but this is what i'm getting screen on time and it's a decent one being very very honest average screen on time is five hours and 13 minutes which is also quite decent so this is what i'm getting and i can say it's a decent battery life i cannot say this is the best battery life although performance is really great without a doubt and battery life is decent okay that is also a good sign now talking about the release date of the ios 18 so ios 18 developer beta 8 is out along with the ios 18 public beta 6 we are not going to see any other beta uh, in next week as we know that apple was on a week cycle uh, one week cycle for the releases but now I can say that we are not going to see any other update. And if I go to the calendar, as today is, while I'm shooting this video, the date is 31st August. And I'm not expecting any sort of update regarding iOS 18 in this week. I do believe Apple is going to skip this week and they will bring the iOS 18 RC update on 9th of September and 9th of september is a very special day so apple announced their uh, event on 9th of september that is going to be the iphone 16 event i also did a video about that that what we can expect from that event and that video is also available on my channel you can check out that video i am very much excited for that event are you excited for that event let me know in the comment section below and I believe that iOS 18 RC update is going to release on 9th of September. That is my belief. And for the public release, it is going to be on 16th of September. That will also be a Monday. Now, these are the expected dates for the iOS 18. What you guys think about them? Let me know in the comment section below. Well, this was all from this video. I discussed a couple of things regarding iOS 18 public beta 6. I'm using it for more than almost 48 hours. I use it. I use different applications. I use also a bit for a gaming and I share the whole uh, scenario that what is happening with this update and I can easily say it's a decent update and pretty much very much stable without any issue at all. Well, that's it from this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Do like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Until that, take care. Peace out.